What is up, Skies family? Welcome back to the vlog channel. So today is going to be the day I reveal the second secret. But until then, we got Frankie in the car because he is headed off to the vets. We're still trying to figure out his allergies. If they're food allergies, if they're environmental allergies. We need to figure it out because Frankie is not doing well look at that oh my gosh it's been like not even a month since he's, since he's had his cytopoint point shot which cytopoint point is like an allergy shot we're gonna figure it out frankie okay we're gonna figure it out i want to just get him like panel tested i don't know we'll talk to the vet we are driving an hour away to like a dog dermatology place so like they kind of specialize a little bit more in uh, allergies than like the average vet we're off to the vets and then we are headed to the dog beach yeah. Woo! I'm a little upset because I forgot to bring his life jacket and he would have been able to swim in the ocean. He doesn't want to. Yeah, he wanted to, but we forgot it. I know, what if he's allergic to you? He's not allergic to me. Oh my god, what if he's allergic to you? What would you do? He wouldn't be the allergic to me. He's allergic to his mom. He's allergic to you. <laughs> what if he's allergic to you two? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Frankie's at the vets now, and he hides when the vet comes to look at him under my chair. We're gonna get you all better. We just left the vets. Franklin got another saddle point shot. Um, he got blood work drawn. So we are going to be testing his blood and seeing uh, what kind of allergies he has and or what he's allergic to is what I'm trying to say. And then he also had ear infections. So they put this like really oily, creamy stuff in there and his ears can't get wet for two weeks, so I can't bring him to the dog beach. Aww. So instead, we are going into this place called Pet Supermarket, and he's gonna get a big toy for being such a brave Aww, boy. Big toy. And I guess he pooped, peed, and expressed all over the vet tech. Which toy do you want? Aww. We got a Java log. Franklin's a termite. Franklin will like this wood. He'll like it when he's a little bit more calm. When he's bored, he's gonna be chewing it up, all right? When you can't see and you're driving. Okay, Skies family, so now it's finally time to reveal secret number two. And oh my gosh, See that? My lens is fogging up right now because Florida humidity. All right, secret number two is that we refurnished our patio. That's right, we got patio furniture. Check it out. And here is my blow up hot tub that I love so much and it actually works. But what the heck, oh my gosh, why is it off right now? All right, I just turned it on, we are in the clear. So, as you can see, this is our new patio set. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And then actually over here, oh my gosh, wait, is that, is that what I think it is, guys? Oh my gosh, what, who are these little, little people that's right guys the surprise wasn't my patio furniture that would be a really boring secret all right i can see that they need more water they have spilled their water over these are a different breed of quail than my conturnix and they fly very well so they'll probably be flying around oh no they fly so well every <laughs> oh my gosh every day they're they're flying better and better Hello, hello, hi baby. We have 12 new baby quails and I'll talk to you a little bit on why I have more quails. Have no fear, my other quails are doing great. There is just a big balance that needed to be fixed and that balance is going to be completed with these baby quails. So I have 12 hopefully female hens. They have been vent sexed and what that means is that the guy I got them from says he knows what he's doing and a quail has a little vent. It's like their butt, so it has both parts, the, uh, the sexual reproduction organ and the butt. 
all in the same area and a skilled eye can tell the difference between a boy and a female quail. So he vent sect all my quails and he says that they're all hens. The reason why I need hens is a big reason. I'll talk to you guys about that when I show you my other quails that are adults. So these are little baby quails, as you can see. They're not used to being out of their cage. Oh, you just did a little poopy oh. baby. So these baby quails are considered white. They're bob whites, and they're normally not white. There's different colors of bob white quails that you can get, and this one happens to be the white ones, and then I also have snowflakes, and I have Mexican speckles. So let me grab all these baby quails and put them in this while I change their bedding in their brooding box. This is where I keep them all together because as you can just see, they fly around everywhere and I don't want to have little poops all over my patio because they do big poops. We still have this one up here. They're so funny too. They can like move the top of their feather heads. Are you a cute birdie? That's so cute. I'm going to need to grab her and put her in the cage. Oh, 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 jeez, she flies so good. So here is a little baby. Don't fly out, hold on. Put the lid on in there. All right guys, I am going to go grab the rest of the quails. Should be fun, wish me luck. They fly so good, they're like, they're like real birds. So this quail right here is considered a snowflake. It could be Mexican spotted or snowflake. I'm not sure exactly. There's not a big difference between the two. I got four Mexican spotted, four snowflakes, and four white ones. As you can see, the white ones are already in there. Oh, what a good baby little quail. So cute, they're a little baby. We haven't named them yet. I know, we need to name them. 12 names, that's a lot of names. Whitey McBulger. We have four whites. As you can see, see the little feathers in the front sticking up? That's what they do. They have these little mohawks. Look at all the little mohawks going. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Look at that little body. I love these little baby quails. They are so cute, and this one, oh my gosh, so sweet. She, right now, doesn't really want to be held, but as you can see, if my camera will focus, it's okay, don't be scared. See how she has a little bit more brown? I'm pretty sure that this is a Mexican speckled. And the other one I was holding is more white, so those ones in there are more white than this. So cute, are you a cute little baby? Here are the little babies. They all have their mohawks up right now, especially that white one. Whoa. And you can see their beaks, how they're doing that thing with their neck. They're a little bit scared, and that's because they only go in here like once, once a week, every time I change it. I've had these baby quails for about a, two weeks now, I'd say. The white ones fly a lot better or like, I don't know, you can see all the white ones are a little bit more um, excited than the snowflakes and the Mexican spotted. And the white ones, literally the birds that flew out when I opened this lid were practically all the white ones. Three white ones and then one snowflake. Look how cute you guys are. You're gonna be so cute. These are little babies. Okay, so now I need to empty all their shavings out, put new shavings in and figure out a better situation for their water. As you can see, the shavings are all wet because they continuously spill their water. So I need to figure that out. Lids back on. They are all in there safely. I just do a head count quick, make sure I'm not missing any. All right, got all 12 of them in there. I've rinsed out their box. As you can see from the top, quails are quite dusty birds. Um, also, I want to say like a little something. I would not recommend quails as pets. They basically don't make good pets. So just because I have quails doesn't mean that you should get quails um, unless you want them like chickens for their eggs or another reason. Just for like a pet, get, if you want a bird, get like a parrot or something, you know, as long as you're willing to make like a 30 year commitment or, or 60 years depending on what kind of parrot you get. But I'm just saying. Quails, they're super cute, they're beautiful. I love that I have them, but they're not right for everyone. So, just do your research when you get a new pet. Now we are going out to go see how Frankie's so hesitant. <laughs> he's been having this weird door phobia where he's afraid to go out the front door. No idea. Franklin, you never cease to amaze me. Go follow your brother while I show them the quails.
hatched these quails, I ended up with way more males than females. The reason why you can't keep these birds all together when you have too many males versus females, one, is your females get like overmated and it's not fair to the female and it can actually kill your female. And then two, the males all fight each other. So all of these birds would fight each other and it wasn't pretty. It wasn't like a nice thing to see. So how I decided to fix that was to get more females. The rule of thumb number is for every male you want to have two to three females. That's why I have 12 chicks. So the ratios will be better. And right now, to be honest, it's so hard. I literally have to clean out five different quail cages a couple times a week, which means changing their shavings. I need to change their water almost daily and then make sure they have food. I also give them mealworms and they love to eat their mealworms. They're like, she's like trying to escape her cage and then she's like, oh wait, mealworms. Hello. Oh, this is my favorite quail right here. This is Han Solo. And then this quail right here, he is the most timid quail ever. He will hide. Oh my gosh, he's, he's a huge scaredy cat quail. So those are my quails now. They're doing great. In order for them to all live together in a happy environment, I need to get more females, which is why I have the new little chicks. See, Willie, what is he doing? He's peeing on the cement. Oh my gosh, now Franklin's peeing over it. And now Callie's gonna pee over it. Okay, no more boy dogs for me, only girl dogs. I bought this awesome quail dream house. This cost me more than $1,000, and I'm going to reveal it now. We have to get into the UTV for this. I wonder what dogs are gonna go with me. Hopefully Franklin will get in this because he has really bad allergies to grass. I'm pretty sure it's to grass. All right, we got the both the dogs that like to be in here. All right, let's drive. Now revealing doo, doo, doo. the quail's new cage, okay, and we got this quail cage about a month ago, and let me tell you, Lord, the grass grows in Florida, okay? I'm coming from California. No grass grows in California except in the springtime, and then it's gone after two weeks. In Florida, we literally have to mow the lawn, j mode today. We have to mow the lawn like twice a week because it grows. In one of my videos, I told you guys how proud I was about mowing all the lawn. Well, guess what? It all grew back in the next day. I'm pretty sure when the quails live in here that the grass is going to not be able to survive. So this is a 10 by 10 chicken run. I got this uh, online. Actually, I think this is a 10 foot eight. I don't remember, it's either 10, 10, 10 foot eight. The reason why we couldn't just use like a dog kennel or anything is because predators could reach in and try to grab them. We originally were gonna have it in front of our barn over there and we decided not to do that. Um, one, just because it blocked the view of our barn and it was just a little bit invasive. So we decided to move the coop back here, but the problem was we already built the coop. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but this thing is like, dude, this thing's solid and it's extremely heavy. It's, I don't know, how heavy do you think it is? 300 pounds? Probably 250. 250 pounds? but like an awkward 250. So this is like a giant square. I don't know, it's pretty big. We couldn't just like lift it up and like pull it. It was like half on the truck, half Jay was holding it and then I had to drive. So, oh my gosh, it was just insane. I had to lift it up from the ground so then I like made it like, it was kind of like at an angle and then I lifted it up and then I held it and I held it throughout the whole way but we couldn't go, we didn't go straight through the thing which we should have. Instead, we went all the way around the whole property, so we went all the way down our driveway. Wait, why didn't we go straight through there? Because I didn't know if it was going to fit, remember, if it was going to Yeah, so we had to go around the whole house. I thought something bad was going to happen because that thing was heavy and it was dangerous, and I was driving the truck, and then I, oh my gosh, our tires got stuck in the mud, and I like, he's like, drive, so I like had to drive, and Jay got splatted up with mud. It was, it was crazy. All because we didn't want to take it apart. In about a month, the quails will be ready to go into their new dream house. I'm going to put some logs in here. I'm going to put some hides. 
Um, I already have their big feed containers. We're gonna make it an awesome quail dream house. This is gonna be way better than my other quail dream house, as you can see. And they all should coexist quite nicely. At least I'm hoping. I'm hoping that there's nothing that's gonna interfere. For digging predators, we also are gonna have to get chicken wire and mesh it all along the edges so that no predators can crawl in. I don't know, you guys. A lot has to go into making a predator-proof um, enclosure. Those are the surprises for today. The quails have a new house. They're gonna be so happy eating all the spiders and bugs that crawl into their cage. And we have new baby quails. We also have older happy quails as well because they're separated and not killing each other. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned. The next video, I am going to be revealing the biggest secret of them all. The absolute biggest secret. It's been so hard keeping this from you guys. Oh my gosh, I uploaded a clue on my pet's Instagram, at Sky's Family, if you wanna go check it out. I can't wait to tell you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.